As a general rule, when it comes to Asian action, Japanese cinema is known for its flashy swordplay. If you want an awesome display of punching and kicking, then you look to Hong Kong. But one Japanese legend broke that rule as easy as he broke a stack of cinder blocks or smashed a scumbag skull. The most muscular, uncompromising man of action in Japanese cinema is surely the immortal Sonny Chiba. <laughs> If you're Quentin Tarantino's favorite action star, you're probably pretty exciting. And if you learned your karate from a man who sparred against bulls, you're probably pretty tough. In over 150 films, my new best friend, Sonny Chiba, has truly been the matador of mayhem. Thank you for <laughs> being on the show. I'm a big fan of yours. You are probably, in my opinion, but certainly I think most people's opinion, the biggest hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat star from Japanese cinema. Thank you. In the 1960s, Sonny Chiba established a reputation as Japan's baddest, assiest badass. Uncommonly tall and broad-shouldered, a hard puncher with no time for hand-holding or haikus. In the 1970s, as Bruce Lee was making martial arts magic in Hong Kong, Sonny was lighting it up nihon style. Thanks to such savage and hugely entertaining crowd pleasers as this one, with the Japanese title "Sudden Attack: The Killing Fist," or as we know it, "The Street Fighter." For me, uh, the most enjoyable role to play is the bad guy. The Street Fighter was a bad guy. I particularly like the bad guy. I thought the character was quite a lovable man. Sonny's brutal street fighter character does manage somehow to be sympathetic. In this scene, for example, he comes to the rescue of a damsel in distress. Proving that chivalry, at least, is not dead. The street fighter battered and pummeled his way through a kiltastic trilogy, featuring one of cinema's all-time most audacious, eye-popping moments. And I'm not referring to this. I think one of the reasons the first Street Fighter was such a big hit was, uh, obviously, the action was good, the acting was good, but there's that one scene at the end where the fist goes down into the skull and you see in X-ray. <laughs> Whose idea was that? That was my idea. When you do action scenes, you see, you can lightly make contact from the leg down. Like this, you can touch lightly, but you can't touch the face. You never ever hit the face. As it's dangerous, so we tried using the X-ray method. Did you enjoy this part? It was one of the finest moments in cinema I can remember enjoying as a young man. So, arigato gozaimashita for the X-ray in the head. Thank you. I know you were uh, a, a, an admirer of Bruce Lee, and I believe you nearly worked with uh, Mr. Lee. I went to Hong Kong to meet him once. Uh, I waited there for two days, but I didn't get to meet him because that's just when he died. If I could have met him, I think we could have had some exciting and interesting conversations. Why were there more films made of hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat martial arts in China, Hong Kong, than in Japan, do you think? Japanese actors weren't physically very strong, and many of them had a half-hearted attitude towards making films. Then, when it came to doing the action scenes, I found there were no actors who could do them with me, 
so the other part will be played by a stuntman. We could shoot only my face. The cameraman had to film the other guy in long shot. Even though I was doing the action, to me it was just a show. It was an action showpiece. Sorry. After pounding his way through over 150 films, Sonny attained his greatest fame in the West in a role that, ironically, saw him not as a street fighter, but as a master sword maker, Hattori Hanzo in Kill Bill. Let me ask you about perhaps your most famous fan uh, today, Quentin Tarantino. Uh, he has for a long time talked about his love of your films and your work. Uh, how was it when you finally got to work with him? What was that experience like? One thing that really impressed me was when he spoke as director to actor. When we talked man to man, he would say, Sonny, come over here. And with his arm around my shoulder, he would ask, Okay, one more time. Just like that. But he never criticized you. Good, excellent. Okay. <laughs> he wouldn't tell you you had done something badly. That's the great thing about him. He's a good. <laughs> you should learn Japanese. Very easy. Arigato gozaimashita. Arigato. It's a pleasure speaking to you, Chiba-san. Thank you so much for your time. Hey, thank you. Thank you thank so you much. much. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you, Chiba-san.